I can do it in roll call as we're here. The only person I don't see is Bob Hagan and then Angela uh, sent her regrets to not make it. So um, Bob may make it in. I know it's an early start for that. Um, so with that, uh, Joe had just had a question and, and I wanted to uh, ask him sort of what the procedure is from this point. We've had all the presentations of the budgets. Um, what's the what's the next step? And the next step is to is to bring the budgets and present them at the, at the public hearing. And um, so at the end of today, we would be looking to uh, for a motion to either uh, accept as written or as modified, depending on how our discussion goes, um, the budgets for the town and for the school um, at the, the two uh, hearings. Um, and then after the hearings, we'll listen to the input from the town, um, and then we will uh, vote at, to approve, or to, uh, not to approve, but to recommend um, the budgets. To take to the public. To take to the public. Yeah. Um, to Today, right, it's a deliberate session, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, you guys have w way more experience. Does that sound about right to, to you? One omission. Omission. I didn't hear the water district, so we have to do the same thing with the water district budget. All budget. Yes. All budget, all three budgets. Yes, sorry. Uh, does the water district go to a public hearing as well? And what we've done... That's right, it does. At the same time we did it, it seems like now. Yes, which uh, I guess we want to do it the same way this time. I, I don't know if there's been more interest. There's certainly been a lot more interest in general yeah. in the modern sort of district. But the, the part that's different is that there's no SP2 for the water district, so that'll go to the annual meeting to vote on the budget. Correct. Correct. Um, yes. As opposed to doing it. But you're still hearing it at your public, your public yeah. hearing and all of that. Right. Everything is the same except for the SB2. Yep. Yeah. Any questions or is that clear? Can you do all that in 45 minutes? <laughs> Today? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it. Amazing. So the first, after, after sort of that clarification, I guess the first thing is we have, I think, two sets of minutes um, to go through, starting with November 20th. Did everybody finally get copies of the, of the November 20 minutes? Yes, but too late to, I have to read them. Okay. I thought that I reset those out right after the last. I think Caroline printed them out. She printed them out here that night, yeah. and that's what I remembered afterwards, and then I couldn't find my printed copy anyway, so. Okay, would you like to defer reviewing those minutes? The, the, just, for me, just the 20 something to the one that's a, 11, 20? The, the one that's three, three meetings ago. Yeah. I'm okay with deferring that. Review those minutes until the next time. Um, <coughs> any objections to that? All right. All right, so we'll move on to December 4th. I have a question. I have a correction. Should I say it now? For, for 1120 or 1240? 1120. Um, let's do it then. Thanks, Angela also sent, I don't know if she said, I, I don't recall seeing if she sent it to the whole. Committee just to me, but she had some some edits as well. Um, so I can just I can voice them when we go over them, and, and we can all. Uh, um, so December four uh, motion to accept, and we can then discuss. So we have a motion to accept. I'll second. Second for Paul. I have. Some suggested edits, and I can't log into the drive at the moment. <coughs> Did anybody else have some? Oh, there was a ton of them for Mern. Was it the name? Yes. So anything that said. So how do you spell Mern? With an E at the end. With an E. Oh, okay. with an E. Yeah, they were, they were minor. Other, other than that, I think but they were pretty he's, minor. He, uh, there was some page. I don't have page numbers, I'm sorry. Um, He sent those to the whole. Yes, he did. Committee. Page four. There was something with wording. 
um, under Warner and Coles before the development of town, the Coles budget. It was, um, oh, it's if, uh, auxiliary meters if water. Well, I just didn't spell that correctly, but I'm sure he said was used, should be WAS, used for other than domestic use, such as, as watering lawns or gardens or filling swimming pools. And he asked it to be more clear about what an auxiliary meter was for. Yeah, I, re I recall reading it having yeah. no issue with having yeah. the, the, the That's revision. definitely should be. Um, Susan, you have something? Yes. So, under wastewater, um, the second bullet point, it says, uh, Suzanne H. mentioned that this is not their proposed budget. Well, I mentioned is that it was not their authorized 2019 budget. So I suggest that you change it to authorized 2019 in that place. And uh, two lines below, where we are currently not seeing the, again, it should not be, uh, it's not that it was the proposed budget. He was not showing us the authorized 2019 budget. He was showing us an original proposed budget. So I just wanted it to be clear that it was authorized 2019. So those are those two edits. Uh, I thought the 25,000 in the other category is for more engineering. I thought the, set, the sentence that follows that I thought wasn't clear. I think what Bern was saying is that large projects should have engineering review and design. And it says when it comes to big increases besides foreign articles, engineer first and then build. Which so, so cross engineered and then build and then insert should have a engineering review and or design. Yep. Sounds right. I, I'm quite sure that's that was his intent. That's what he was saying. Um, then under government buildings, this is the town. Uh, the spelling of portico uh, should be P O R T I C O. Also on that, he was changed. I think he just did a, anything that said B E R N, change it to B E R N E, so it's, uh, he's crossing off government, government. So um, <laughs> just be yeah, careful when you, oh, where's okay. just be careful when you, you know, okay. if it makes sense to change it where his name was. Just right. change his name, not government. Yeah. <laughs> I would change that too. Yeah. Um, then down under police department. Uh, so, so Denise mentioned that every officer this year got a raise that brought them up, up to market. I, I thought we we asked that question. It just brought them closer to market. Yeah, I don't. It's not. Well, is that? It depends probably what the position is. Do we have any that are at market? I believe we do. Okay. So. Um, but I don't believe that probably all of them are at market. Uh, or all closer to? Close, absolutely closer to. Yeah, they closer all to got from the, from the uh, lieutenant <coughs> to the um, special police officers as well, which hadn't gotten raises in years. They all got raises. Uh, bumps up, not under. So, and closer, that was. closer to yeah. market would be up there. Questions or suggested revisions to the December report? Any minutes? All in favor of accepting as as edited as we discussed? Say aye. 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 Any opposed? Abstain. Approved. Right. Uh, so the next is the um, December 11th. Except the minutes. I'd just like to clarify one point. It seemed like an inconsistency, although I was there and I know what they meant. Uh, so if we if we get a motion to uh, to accept and then we can discuss and then we can revise. Okay. okay. That's okay. That's I'll make a motion to accept. I'll second. 
Okay. Now discussion, Charlie. The minor point. Uh, when they explained why the tuition went up so much at Marshwood, they said it was because the enrollment was down. Let's see what the word is. I thought I highlighted it. But yeah, I thought that's what it said. But um, I think what we need to clarify is <coughs> which enrollment is the Marshwood community without Rollinsford being included in that, that was down, that caused the increase in tuition to us here in Rollinsford. Because there were fewer students. The total number of students. Yeah, the total number of students in the middle school was lower. So not our students. Rollinsford's right. portion was, Makes up a higher percentage. was larger. But it doesn't reflect that in the minutes. It just it, it kind of kind of looks like, let me find the exact. population has dropped. 
I think let's make that clear that it's the um, South Berwick and Elliott student population has dropped. Mm -hmm. no, that's Perfect. Succinct. So hypothetically, there might have been 700 kids going there, from, and now the 650 or something. Right. Got it. So Rollinsford makes up a larger percentage of the total population of yep. students. I, therefore, yep. got it. good clarification. This is from typos. I think page seven, first two bullets. Which header is that? No header at the top of it. We're getting into transportation regular. That they will be going out to bug next year with bus contracts. Pull it below that. Show DS how many kids we have. Uh, I haven't seen buses like plural like that before, but I guess it. That was technically correct. Correct, I and I agree with you. And then we have a <laughs> duplicate we have, we have, minus stuff. Did you see those? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got them. Thank you. I have one more on the first page of Rollinsford School District 2020 budget presentation, the second bullet point, and then the second sub bullet point. The school board will continue a discussion on the, whatever that word is, I don't know, it should be appropriateness. That came from their goals. Yeah. I was looking at that. I was like, maybe it is a word. It actually is. doesn't say who's chairing the meeting, it says that you're not there, so maybe just a little addition so that I chair the meeting. Some people want all the glory. Especially since the one year when the budget goes up.
we were thinking on last time. One was the salaries for the firefighters or the, or the points um, amount. And, and then Suzanne had some suggested mm -hmm. revisions. So we'll do the, the, the points first. Okay, so um, the select board has made a, a decision for uh, this year. Um, we are going to um, make the fire chief, or we're going to have a warrant article to make the fire chief appointed versus elected. It will be on the ballot for this year. We are also, um, and it will reflect in this budget, we are also recommending that we pay $15,000 for the fire chief for his stipend for the year and remove him for the on per call pay uh, section of it. Knowing that and looking at, he, um, we took an average of his last four years of what he made and it was under four, uh, 15000 So that's where, I, it was very low 14s. So that's why I picked the 15000 because based on what he made on fire calls and his stipend, this will give him a little boost, but it will also be all he'll get, though, in this position, which he has agreed to. Um, are you asking a question? Yes, but I'll wait for you to finish. That's okay. Go ahead. Well, so that means then that the, uh, the $56,000 that, um, that the board is proposing for the salaries line mm -hmm. actually now has been enriched by another seven or eight. Is that, is yeah. that one way to look at that? Yeah, that's, yeah. So the salary, we're not, uh, we're recommending to maintain what you have here, the money that the fire chief took out of that pool um, will go towards the firefighters that are in that pool. And we still recommend to have an increase to the budget as well to help in that. And we're going to try it this one year to see where where we will be based on minimum wage and, um, and making sure that we can at least get up to minimum wage. So. Um, we think that it, it will work, but you have, the problem, we were looking at, I did this whole spreadsheet for them, different hourly wages and stuff, and it, it was going to be a really huge impact to the taxes because there's no way of knowing how many hours they work or how many calls they're going to have in a year. So I erred on the side of caution and had it higher. Mm -hmm. um, so we... We thought if we could leave it this way for this year to see how it works for the firefighters and the, and the officers under the fire chief, how it works, um, and to see where we fall, I believe, based on that information, that they will be over minimum wage. I would believe that it will be between $8 and $9 an hour, is my um, assumption, anyway, based on what, I, what we have looked at in the last um, three or four years of um, historical data from them. So th that would be our recommendation for the fire department, in which we're also looking at the increase to the fire chief salary would um, come out of taxation. I'm confused on the salary. He's only been taking points for two years, and you went back four years. Uh, he's been more than two years. No, uh, how long? We had data. He wasn't in 2017. I had I had more than two years of data to look at. I, I'm not sure you're right. Yeah. And the other yeah. question was, when you gave us a sample for a quarter, he was making 3,600 for a quarter okay. in the salary. Okay. So if that's four quarters, quarters, he'd be almost 14,000 there. I'm just mm -hmm. telling you what the <coughs> payroll says. Yeah. And Which we did an quarters. average over yeah, four, four years. Quarters. And he was under 15000 Yeah, because two years he didn't, I believe. I, I don't agree with you, but I don't no, have my no. data. And my, do you have the data that you can prove it out? I don't. Well, the last right time now. when I saw the survey on what they made in the town in 17, he wasn't on the list. I don't know what you're talking about. What list? The list that was looked up because somebody asked for the salaries for the town employees. I don't know what you're talking about. I can't tell you why, but there was a person that wanted to know the salaries of the town employees, and they got a copy after they went to the lawyers. 
Okay. And I got a copy. You mean someone did a right to know law? Yes. That's, okay. that's public information, by the way. It's public it's information. Public information. <laughs> exactly. So I'm not sure if what I don't know what data you're asked for and why and See what got confuses it, me is if he's made thirty six and one quarter. That's not a year. I think that's what the ACE is no, trying no. to say is that you can't multiply that by four. Right. Because, because you don't know when events happen. So it, you, the longer the period you have over which to get the data, the closer I'm it is. I'm basing it on a quarter. It. Well, it's and if you do a quarter times four, it's around 14 in that line. And that's Charlie, what you can't do. But it's based on fire calls. I know that. So you don't. You can have a hundred fire calls in quarter one well, and ten in quarter two. So how can you compare them? No, but if you're getting six points a quarter, you're getting more than the other people. You're not just getting six. I know that. I, I'm not sure I understand what you're asking me. I'm just saying the fire chief has said that this is acceptable to him. We believe he's going to be making more than he's making currently by being in the pool of the salaries. You say so, okay? And he will be. And he'll be compensated about fifteen thousand dollars. He will be compensated. He will, he will be, be compensated fifteen thousand. This is a guarantee versus cost. Right. So one year it might have been thirteen, the other year it might have been closer to fifty. On average across the board of the salaries that I took, that I had information from, he was under the fifteen. So. And, and would you say? Just because my ignorance so fire department. Okay. About how many hours a week did you say he averages? When it's Mark? <laughs> yeah. um, he says about 20. Yeah. So, you know, so I mean, that's based on fire calls and um, doing paperwork. So and if you annualize this, you'd be saying that you're paying $30,000 for a chief who's got incredible experience. Mm -hmm. So it seems to me $15,000 is low, but. but Reason, you know, I don't see any reason not to. He did not oppose it. Yeah, so, no, so I mean, you know, so I'm, 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 not, I'm not saying that this is what he's going to make for I'm saying it's certainly not too much. <laughs> no, it's, oh, it's Correct. absolutely not too much. No, I agree with you 100%. And, and, and we might look at, once we have a year of data, we might look and see what he is doing. But we're trying to resolve a problem that we've been told about that we need to do. One point equals one hour. So that's also got confirmed in the fire department. One point is one hour. So how much would they get for a salary for the one point? Uh, you're figuring it's out. Still I'm, I'm not the chief is not no, no, based not, on point. Not the chief. I'm oh. saying the, the firefighter. Based one point, one hour, based on, whatever. Based what would on, the hourly rate be? I know you can't tell enough. Estimate. It, it's, what they do is they take it, the salary, they divide it by four. No, I, I know how they get that. Are they going to get seven dollars or eight dollars? I don't know. I can't tell so, you that until I know how no, many calls, how many people, yeah. and how many. You know, I mean, there's no way of knowing that based on. The issue is we're still with the point system. Yeah, I know. Exactly. Well, the point so system, that's why one a year. If you make seven bucks an hour, the assistant chief would make thirty-five an hour. No, five points. Much, no, they only get the additional points the first, first hour. hour. The first hour. I, I understand that, but. He even, Mark even said most of the calls are one hour. Well, I, I don't know. I can't answer that. I made the proposal. I agree that they need a raise. I just don't like the point system. Well, I know. So hey, it's my opinion. Sense. Yeah, but this, that, that's not what this group is for. The group doesn't make those. They make the salaries. It's, it's, it's a point made, and, and uh, it's, it is a system that is with like 80% of the towns in in the state. Mm -hmm. There's reasons for it uh, that have to do with when people become regular employees and not regular employees. Yeah. It's not a great system, but... No, I read that, that information that came up. Yeah. Um, I asked one question. What was the very beginning? He was going to be an elected official, and now he's... He is an elected official. We are putting a, a warrant article to make him appointed. Because so so there will be no election for five years, what you're saying? I'm just trying to... I'm sorry? If it so passes. If it passes, if you're no passes. longer elected fire chief as the, yeah. and the reason is because an elected official doesn't really report to the board of selectmen or anybody in the town hall, they report to the people. So it would be better if we can have more of a say and assistance with him, and he is 100% on board with that as well. Okay. The, I, the, the, other, the other good reason for it, and so I, I think it's a great idea, mm -hmm. is that <coughs> You know, I could I could run for fire chief. That is correct. And if nobody opposes me, 
because there's nobody else who, whatever, I mean, I could be elected fire chief and God help us all because I have, you know, zero experience and even less, I'm, I'm oh, sure it's, it's, it's a way of controlling. Yeah. 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 It has that position because it could be anybody that wanted to run and, okay. and ran against and I, did, I didn't say this, but it could be mine. Yes. <laughs> I didn't mention that, but I'm going to strike that from the conversation. Sorry. But it, it, you're right. Ahead, that was the only one of the reasons. It's, it's a way of controlling to make sure we have experience in our highest position. So, any other questions on how we determined how we were going to go forward with the... Yes? Uh, is there any... Um, so, <coughs> is there any um, other repercussions as to doing this? Like, does, do we need to be doing um, some... I can't think of the word right now. Like, workers' comp or anything like that because... Well, over like payroll the overtime. Taxes. And yeah, and not all that. And, well, no. the payroll taxes. Or is it in there? I'm sorry if I'm not seeing it. According to the, Someone's waving to me. Ma'am. Um, the, the payroll tax was not... Um, the select board, with my assistance, made the mistake of doing math in public. And that resulted in the lack of a payroll tax adjustment. So the payroll taxes are now level in that because I was not able to hear back from other board members. So. Um, if you wanted the payroll taxes in your consideration of what to do with the town budget, just know that the payroll taxes as still proposed in this version of the budget would have to increase by $580 to match what we're currently proposing to spend in salaries. Which is line 143. We would want to make it uh, so it's, it's, there we, we should add we 580. What did you say, 580? Yes. 580. We should... Absolutely, do that because that's the increase to the fire chief salary. Well, thank you. The, the, the point I think that you were right, well, <laughs> what we what we raised with that oracle about you know the, why the point system is used as opposed to hourly mm -hmm. is that if you if you're if you raise it too high, then you can you can get dragged into having to do those for that minimum wage. You feel comfortable that that's not going to be. The case. We're not compensating them like, like a professional firefighter. At that point. No. That's, that's, that's the, was that the question? That's the, yes. I was going to ask. Yes. That. So, it's that, to so it there's it's still it's yes. it's not going to there's no repercussion that that's un, un, unforeseen. No. Like no. health benefits or stuff like no. that. No. No. that article was pretty well laid out. Uh -huh. Exactly. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other questions on the fire department? I think the board of selectmen did a very good job of addressing the oh, issues yeah, that the budget committee was uh, concerned about. Thank, Thank you. you. For the work on I'll make a You're statement. Welcome. I think the chief is getting a cut in pay. That's just my opinion. He's not. Based on his W2 at the end of the year, he is not getting a cut in pay. Could you show us that data? So, so he's happy. happy. He's End of story. Yeah. <laughs> I think he would have fought me if he was taking a cut and pay. So I don't believe that he is taking a cut and pay. Okay. And it's public information. You want to do a right to know law, you can ask Caroline for his income for the last whatever many years. So it'd have to be by the end of the year, though. You have to wait till you see what his full year now. Uh, Anything we, else? On the salaries, the chief is over and so is the uh, salaries for the other firefighters are over, but the she is already. Line 141 and 142. So this should correct the problem. The proposed budget should correct that. It won't correct this year's. Well, oh, what you're saying is, oh, you're saying it's 101 percent versus 100. Do you know why, Caroline? Those are over. Not offhand, but yeah. I don't think so. Right, since it's a stipend, it should be just set. Agreed. No. That should, yeah, that should be. Okay, just just the salaries might be. 141. Yeah, that's just a minor thing. And the salaries for the firefighters is only over by a thousand because you already approved an extra five in your budget. Mm -hmm. But it's still a thousand dollars over. Yeah, we'll look into that. Any other questions about the compensation of the firefighters and the fire chief? Okay. I, I, 
unless anybody has um, something else, I suggest that Su Suzanne present what she was noodling about. I'd be earlier. happy to if people want to. Yeah. I I'm happy to hear that. Uh, so, reflecting upon you know uh, some of the conversations and questions, and concerns that have been raised by this committee, it seemed that salaries was something salaries and wages that, that the committee is always very concerned about. Denise on the board had just addressed the fire department, and I was looking at ways that we could address some of the other issues. <clears throat> so, can I make a comment before you go down the road? Yes. Okay, so. Um, one of the things, the first thing that you were um, you were addressing was to reduce the dental benefits. It is the opinion that in order to retain our our officers, offering a benefit is something that we should be doing in order that whatever other police departments are going to be um, offering, it's another way of maybe retaining them. Um, the other thing you had mentioned was the attendance at the transfer station. We have resolved that issue as well. <laughs> we, um, it will be effective in January. And what we've done is they had an open position. And what we did was took a large portion of that open position and divided it by all the transfer station attendance. And the other part of it will be for um, Saturday only employee once we get the um, scales up and running and understanding what we need to do with those scales. We work, George and Ed came with a proposal and the Board of Selectmen approved it. And it will be effective January 1st. Excellent. So they've had, they will have a... They will be 11 and over, 11. Um, we'll have two at $13 an hour and one at 13 um, either 1350 or I think actually 1375 one of the two and yep. then the starting wage for the Saturday only position would be 12 up from what used to be 11 right right so we again have taken care of and addressed well, no, that's really good news yeah excellent and it was within their own budget that they were able to do it and they agreed that they would yeah. only need to cool. have that extra person on um, a Saturday once they get the scale yeah, okay. um, yeah. taken care of. So I don't believe we have to address that now. Perfect. Can I still kind of touch? Mm -hmm. kind of go through? Mm -hmm. So I understand what you're saying, Denise. I, I, I don't disagree, but and I, it's my own experience, experience some, from other folks that I know who would rather have a beefier paycheck than, than necessarily benefit, which they might or might not use. So I, I'm still proposing, even though we don't have to put it with the attendance, that we consider, I mean, this is up, up to the committee, that we consider reducing the, essentially to zero. I mean, I guess it's one just to keep it open. <coughs> the, so with that $2,613, I was proposing that we give that money in, in row four to the attendance, which we don't need to do because they've had their increase. So, but I was also proposing that we take a, uh, 400 of that and uh, add that to the town clerk's election stipend. So that was one of the other things I was thinking doing with that, that money that was saved. And then the other thought uh, was with regard to police, again, understanding that you know, retention is a, an important issue, that we recommend that we get a 2.75% increase. But that, you know, this is something that Joe sort of pointed out the last time, that the, the source of funding for that actually come from other lines in the police department, because without our saying what those lines would be, just that it could come from Nancy's because of, of historical spending patterns. But now that, that there's that money that we don't need for the attendance, that, that could be moved down to the police. Um, so that was really pretty much what I was saying in that top part. It was really to increase the police to 2.75 and understanding we also have to increase the retirement and the overtime at the same time. So I estimated it would cost you know, roughly uh, $3,000. Um, and, um, and give the town clerk uh, a stipend, make the stipend $400 per election. I think she was asking 500. So that was that was the thought at the top part. The 
the, the items of the second part were just if the budget committee was interested, if the budget committee was in, was fine with a 2.3% operating budget increase, super. But if we were looking for other places to try to bring things down, we might look at FEMA Homeland Security. There are sort of like two lines that are pretty close in that category of reimbursable expenses. And I'm not even sure that I fully remember why they, what the distinction is between those two lines. One is, one is Homeland Security and one is FEMA distributions. I think redistrib uh, refunds or reimbursements. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Reimbursable expenses. What line is that? 224. I remember those, like the FEMA reimbursements, were kind of well. You expect to get that money back, but just in case you don't, that's you're budgeting for that. Well, uh, FEMA reimbursements is when you have a, a major uh, incident that happens in town. Mm -hmm. um, the police chief uh, files for reimbursement. Right. But if you don't have, if you don't have an emergency, you wouldn't get the income. So. And he also includes highway and fire and uh, some of administration here, right? Yes. As part of um, his big package of reimbursement. We, we just got, we did get one this year. Yeah, right. I, I mean, so that's an example. We budgeted 20000 mm -hmm. for 2019. We got 2600 back. So in effect, you have, you know, seventeen five left over. Caroline, we got more than that. So, so the twenty six five that you're the twenty six fifty five that you're yep. seeing is an expense. It's not revenue. Mm -hmm. So one of those lines it allows people to apply for grants that might have a homeland a FEMA um, matching or or a full grant for purchasing of items. Um, or it may be that if there is a um, a weather event and we are expending, we're using vehicles and people for that weather event that they will reimburse us for the hourly wage and an hourly rate on the vehicles and then we can do what we did this year, we spent that, it's not just $2,600, it's going to be more. Um, we, we used money as in, from that income, you have to budget the expense that then the board chose to buy some cones and road signs which are related to the storm activity. Mm -hmm. Um, but you need a budget line to expend from. Mm -hmm. so, so that's part of the expense that was incurred as a result of us having received some income from the storm previously. And it was the three departments that worked together to come up with this list of things that they wanted to, to get that we were they kind of lacking on certain items and they all agreed to you know, cones and signs and you know, row closure things and, and all of that. But you're right, we have to have a line to be able to as well as received. But the town actually got in more than $2,600. Yes. Right. It was $7,000. I was going to say that that was close to eight. Yeah. Yeah. Did that answer your question? Yeah. Um, I have a question, Suzanne. With what you're suggesting, it sounds like shifting money around inside. But are we, are we at, are, are, we, are you suggesting that we increase the budget is proposed by a certain amount, or are you just suggesting shifting things around? The and first part, the top part, is just a shifting in order to, 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 so that we can recommend additional salary dollars for the town clerk and the police. And the attendants were part of them too, but now they're not. So, so there was no net increase in that top part. It was just a way to, to try to find funding, so funding sources for those increases. So it could be a, a recommendation, but obviously it's not the bottom. It's not changing the bottom line. That's correct. Right. right. That's correct. Absolutely. However, I have to um, disagree with the professional service line, which contains our legal line. We have some things in the works that we need to take care of, which we were required to have legal services. Um, so I would highly recommend that we do not touch that line. I don't, I, Denise, I don't disagree. Okay, I was I'm just looking for pl yeah. the bottom part again was just to try to mitigate, and maybe the maybe the budget committee 
it does not feel a need to mitigate. You know, it was the two, the now 2.3 percent increase in the operating budget. So, you know, it just brought the operating budget down to 2.1. And again, you know, we were. It, it just, you know, where where might we find whatever it was, the four thousand so, dollars? dollars can I just ask? I'm just going through this. Can I just ask a question? So, for us, when we work out the police, we gave the chief a 9.4 percent raise, or we're going to give the chief a 9.4 percent raise. Uh, one ten. Uh, a market adjustment proposed and then accepted by the select board to bring them closer to the salaries of other chiefs. Yeah, I remember that discussion. Mm -hmm. I know, but, so is that, is that what I'm reading here? I don't see the 9% where you're saying. So over here it says 2,024 to 9.4%. Oh, I'm in fire. Okay. Wasn't it related to Social Security? Well, he's retired. That's a separate issue I'll be having. We gave, he asked for, he asked for some from Social Security, which we did not give him. So this represents just a market? The 5,000 5, is what we gave him. He okay. was looking for 8-something. Like An additional 3,800, yeah. approximately. Yeah. On top of the 5,000? Yes. Yeah. So, so, so I just want to understand this, though. So we're giving our chief a 9.4% raise, but then anybody below him gets a 2% raise? Any officer? No. Understand that when we said that the officers got raises, the chief did not. So there was already a market adjustment in 2019. Not for him. No, no. I mean, okay. for, the other, for the officers. Correct. He so, did not get one. But not for him. So, so when we increased for 2020, that's based on an already adjusted salary from 2019. Okay, so that would be like a 4.5%. Well, well they just when you look at this, you see everybody in town, tax collector, uh, clerk, uh, the offices, they're all at 2%, and all of a sudden you see 9.4% for the chief. So it's like, it just doesn't, it doesn't seem to jive very well. And I understand the market thing, but if it's, we're just correcting for one year, why is it 9.4%? And he wanted even more, what do you want, 15%? And he's looking at $8,400? Yeah. Yeah. So there was no... Discussion or disagreement with them about that raise. It was just he wanted it, so he got it type thing. I'm just well, asking he, because that's like a big raise. He, he didn't ask when he was looking for market raises for the police department. He did not put one in for himself. Then he came up with a recommendation for himself because we didn't give him one because we gave it to it, all the officers, but he did not get one. And then he came with this proposal and we felt that it was reasonable based on. Okay, um, the last few years we've been giving the offices 2 or 3%, right? Yes. Okay. It's been across the board for everyone. But him? Yeah. No, he, he, no, he got he it. He got too. it, right? He got the 2%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, but he didn't get a market increase. Like all, he, is, he has completed his case that the police chief is not at all close to market value, but he is a part-time police chief. Right. And it's hard to compare surrounding areas what our police chief is. But so he came up with a proposal well, that five thousand and we again I, I, um, I guess I shouldn't get into the personnel thing part of it, but I mean if he's retired if he's retired that's part of the set I mean these cops you compare these other police chiefs I'm assuming are not retired so that they made seventy five or eight thousand dollars a year and he's saying he's only making sixty. He's really making, it's not my business, but he's really making, say, 120 because he's getting retired, right? So, no, I, that's not so I, I, I don't see why a 9.4% raise was market value. I don't think that we can judge. I mean, you know, he might I'm not he judging, might I'm just saying 9.4% raise, might, might raise and everybody else gets a 2% raise. If I was anybody in town, I'd be like, so that should help. For well, well, that, I, I guess that, that's, that's a valid point, except that he's just explained to us that it really is woefully mm -hmm. below market value. Mm -hmm. So so there, it's an attempt to try to get it closer. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is that, you know, I could, I could have a trust fund that gives me $5 million a year, but I would still expect to be paid what my job is worth. So that's the only distinction I make. I understand. Okay, I understand that. You know, we shouldn't be bringing in what he's retired. Yeah. See, we're talking part-time to full-time police officers. 
The other chiefs are all full time, correct? Right? I don't know that. I, I we haven't done the, the due diligence he's, of so going through again. It. You have to remember he's thirty hours a week. He's a part time. He's, he's not a full. He's twenty hours a week. He's thirty. Thirty. So. You're not comparing, yeah, you're just not comparing all the apples well, to the other time. I, I don't know that because I didn't, I truly didn't do the data analysis. Right. So I'm just, I am just trusting. Yeah, right. right. I am we trusting. Can, we can now say in trust, but we listened to the presentation. And it was, he had six or seven towns, and how much those chiefs make about how much he made. My point is, he's, those other chiefs are full time. We did have on the sheet that the average part-time sheet was 60192 I don't know where that came from, but we have, that was for a part-time battle. That's for a part-time team? That's what we have on the, huh. written on the side. Because he's actually a bargain for the town. Because yeah. we don't pay him benefits. Yeah. We don't pay him uh, sick leave and annual leave. Okay. And when he retires, day. whenever it is, we're going we're to get somebody day. for 40 hours for a lot more with benefits. So he's a plus right now for the town. We'll do a warrant on it for the chief every time. It's a good question. You know, when you see a 9.4 no? compared to 2, 2, I, 2. I understand. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. It was a good eye, though, picking up on it and then flushes it out and then we'll figure it out. Helpful to me. Any other discussion or comments on the town budget? Would we like to? No, I just agree with that. The chief, you know, took that fifteen thousand with our chief. He said some good deal. Sorry, changing from police. Okay. Sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Any other discussion of the town budget? And are we ready to? Are there any changes that we want to make? Well, I'd like a motion that we, I'd like to make a motion that we increase the payroll taxes prior to the 580, so we're in full based on his salary. That was um, over mm -hmm. the second. I'll, I'll second. That's fine. I'll I'll second that. Any discussion? On this is one, one thought. When Joe was talking about, you know, uh, approved versus expended, you know, at the end of the year, if you don't, spend your whole proposed budget. Where does that money go? Is there a general fund that this goes into? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, fund balance. Fund balance. Fund balance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But let's just get through the yeah. through the motion if we could. So any discussion on the motion to increase the line item? It's 143 payroll taxes fire. The payroll taxes by 580. 580 dollars and that's to, to uh, Correct the calculation for fire chief salary, fire chief salary for, for the taxes on the salary. Mm -hmm. uh, any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Passes. Does that change the percentage at all, though, about what you were talking about? You mean the bottom line? Yeah. I don't think it would affect that. Not that I'm just curious. I can figure it out in $500 on 580 and $500 on 580 Are there any other motions on the town budget? Nope. I'm going to just give us on that one. That's just $2,000. Do we have any motions? A motion to uh, present the town budget as modified tonight at the public hearing. Do we have a motion to do that? Wait a second. What are we going to do with Suzanne's suggestions? They were they were not a motion. I know that. And John just made a motion, and I actually accepted that motion. Well, I'm, I'm asking for asking for a motion. Oh, so I think I give a motion. darn. So. Um, I mean, I'm happy to just... I mean, I, I think if we did it, we'd do it one at a time. Do what? Do what? Go do through each line item and... Yeah, and then we can see if we oh, want to... No, I, I, would, I would not be in favor of that. This was just a thought, something to think about. Uh, and you're talking about each of my lines one at yeah. a time? Yeah, just a few you had. You can make that as a motion. I would not. Yeah, I just I don't think... It, it, 
was kind of like a, the top like part was one picture, the bottom part was another <laughs> picture. Just something to kind of think about. You know, Denise said they've already addressed the attendance. That takes a big right. chunk out of that. Yeah. Uh, you know, they can address the police salary on their own because it, you know, it, it was just, you know, it was just a, a way to think about it. how might we do some of the things that this committee thought was important to do. And right. I think no. I think the main point was the fact, you know, you, you give the uh, the option of either not having dental and getting twenty more money well, into your pocket. That's what I. That was the that main. Is, that is a. I still believe that, but. Yeah. And that's something that could always be brought up again. I'll yeah. make the motion that we drop the benefits from twenty six fourteen back back to a dollar. Since we have nobody that wanted I'll to second. Sign. I'll second it. So in twenty six fourteen. Sixty two. Senate Personnel Administration. This is probably the lowest question. Yeah. So the motion is to reduce the, the line 62 dental benefits from um, $2,614 to $1. Motion by Charlie Dion and second by Suzanne. And the reason for that motion is we only have eight full time employees and you need six to do it. And we haven't got the six to sign up. That's my reason. Other discussion? Is that the latest information we've got? I mean, that no. We did have we did have the numbers, and then um, one of them backed out because they would only do it if it was 100% um, paid. So. Okay. That's a good point. Got it. Uh, should do this roll call by voice and see how it comes out, and if it's close, then you will have to by roll call. Uh, all in favor of that motion say aye. 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 Any opposed? Opposed. I think the aye is aye. got it. <laughs> <laughs> have to do it. But what well, were your reasons? So, I, mean, that's I just think that the more benefits we offer, the better off we're going to be able to retain our employees. Okay. It's a small amount of money, and if they can't do it this year, and, and you know, you could have a change in staff yeah. that could make that number change, and then we could go ahead and do it. I just believe that we should try to offer as much as we can reasonably with um, with our full-time staff. That's one thing. Is that an open enrollment? Can anyone enroll in that benefit at any time, like if next month? I don't know. They want to have, you know, Only if you're a new employee, right? right? Yeah. Open season because we have not signed up for dental at all, once we sign up for dental, we can sign up for dental at any time. But I would add that for the five people who want it, they really want it. And those are mostly your younger officers. So they ask all the time. Mm -hmm. I say that after the vote intentionally. You know? <laughs> well, how much does it cost for them? It's, it cost, it cost us about $40 per month. The current proposal was an equal cost sharing between the employees and mm -hmm. um, the employer. Um, one of them, only one person really would not use the benefit. And then one, you have to get that person away from the, you know, you have to beat the spouse's plan. And then you've got one young person who's on the family's, you know, it, their parents' plan because they're young enough still. So when that person ages out of their parents' plan, they're likely to come over. So it's it's an evolving conversation as the employees evolve and as the offer changes. So I'll just say here, whatever that cost is to the officers, if we gave them that in their salaries, that would also increase their retirement benefit. So. It, you know, but they I, want it. I'll I just say that. Somebody, they want it. somebody should give them a, some, you know, financial. Uh, so, uh, not do they have like a? Do they have the same option as like a, a, a uh, HSA where they can put the money into that and put it into dental or health or whatever? Is it the same same situation we're talking about? Different? It's different. It's actual insurance. It's not an HSA. We could sign up for an HSA. I don't know if it would cover um, dental, but it would be instead of their regular health insurance, which they wouldn't want to do. So, um, unless we want to reopen the dental, <laughs> uh, I think we should move. 
impact on um, any other any other um, line items that we want to recommend adjusting um, for the hearing. Um, now I'll entertain a motion. I move. I, I move that we put forward to the public hearing <coughs> the budget as presented to us by the, by the select board with the adjustment to dental benefits and the adjustment to uh, the payroll taxes of the fire department. We just need. I'll second it. Uh, any more discussion? All in favor? <coughs> Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Abstained. Abstained? Sorry. I'll wait until abstained. the next meeting. That's fine. Actually, um, it's a voice vote, so I think we still pass. All right, uh, school. We're going to go over capital. Excuse me. We're going to go over capital. Okay. We we will have to make recommendations on those on that at the public hearing once we hear what people say. But otherwise, we can't change them, right? We have no ability to change them. So they're going to be presented as the board presents them. As the board has them. As I looked at this, there's one thing that puzzles me: the boiler. So the town hall is going to be rolled over, mm -hmm. right, Denise? Mm -hmm. And twenty thousand is coming out of SIP, and five thousand is coming out of taxation. So that will have to be shown here, right? We're In capital? No. no, because that's a twenty nineteen event. So it's done with. Even though you're rolling it over, there's nothing to vote on. It's just an auditory function to audit, um, an audit function yeah, okay. to carry it over. It'll come out of fund balance, but not out of that. Next year's taxes. Okay. <coughs> so we're ready to start discussing the school. Since we don't have a representative from water and sewer here. We still have to. We still, still got to present a budget. budget. He hasn't given us a revision on his budget. He did. Well, not a revision. A reformatting. He did. He reform. He reformatted the budget and sent it off to us a while back. Yeah. Uh, so we can do the school and keep moving, and we can yes, catch up on the on the tour. So any discussion? Uh, uh, any, any clarifications that we need on the school budget? I wasn't here, so I'm not it was it was pretty laid out, pretty straightforward. Yeah. So I have a, an update. Um, let me just find it right now. Um, that I received kind of late today. So apologies for um, late announcement of it. Um, I sent a revised version out to everyone by email, like. Ten minutes before this meeting, um, but I, I, I printed out some copies quickly so that we needed it. And someone is going to be missing a page seven. I don't know how many ended up printing because I put twelve in and I had to leave before it was finished. So um, hopefully we have enough to share. Page Someone's missing a page seven because there's one right here. I'm a winner. <laughs> Are these? Um... I have a seven. Oh, I see. So basically, you will see a change to the special ed tuition line, which is on page. I don't know. Off here, three. 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 Um, we have a change in need in special education that is um, re requiring, and I wouldn't necessarily say requiring us, but we believe that the best decision would be based on a change in need to increase the special ed tuition line by $50,000. Five zero. Fifty, yes, five zero. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's special right. education need. That's, that's all we can say about that. It is a lot of money, and this is why we have a trust fund for those things that when these emergencies come up, because special education 
when it costs a lot of money, it costs a lot of money, and we have nothing to say about it. So it is what it is. My so question is, is it uh, because it's not an emergency, We're, and because you know you have to sort exactly. of have to put it in the budget. Exactly. Correct. Yes. That that trust fund. That I don't, I'm not calling it a trust fund. But that fund is is specifically for emergency situations. After a budget has been passed, we don't have enough money in our budget to pay for a special need that um, that comes up. We would then have to go to the town, get approval to spend that money, and then we would be able to spend it. This we're aware of in advance, and so we think the responsible thing to do would be to increase our special education line. And which is the chart of account number for that? That's, I was trying to see the difference between what was in the presentation and your new update. So, so, I'm sorry, what? Which is the account number that that increases in? I haven't even had a time to look okay. at this new version, so I apologize. I believe it's on the that. bottom of page two. Second bottom, page two. So 55, 50, well, 10, five, 12, 10, yeah, 55, right. 63. 55, 63, yep. one. Oh, one. Spent tuition, elementary, private school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, elementary to private. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Spent tuition, elementary to private. Okay. Oh, um, this is Yeah. So that is a change. No, my question is, is it affected in this tax year, or is it going to be just next year? Um, I don't actually know the answer to that. Um, Judy, do you know the answer to that? I, I don't, but uh, but it, it, it doesn't affect next year's budget if we have to do something this year with it. So, um, right. No, I was just curious. Yep. This is late breaking news yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> to all of us. Mm -hmm. So. It can change daily, and and, and this is why we say that's why it's why we say it can swing two hundred thousand dollars one way or the other, any given year, it's special education funds easily, with one with one person. Sure. Sorry, I'm speaking out of turn. Sorry. No, 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 that's okay. I just wondered. That we have somebody new coming into special education. Okay. Okay. We didn't really no talk about saying. that for privacy reasons. I can just tell you no, that it's a special uh, education need. All we know is it's needed. I'm sorry. It can be frustrating. <laughs> so if you are going to have to start the program before the next budget year, mm -hmm. then that might be an instance where you would go to the emergency funds. If you had no funds to Potentially, pay. yes, that would be. Okay. Which could which could cut down on um, the bill or if you have to spend down your budget before you can do that, it means that you wouldn't be able to put money in the reserve fund. Possible. Possible. Yes. Yes. Possible. So, so to answer Charlie's question in a generic way, things that might cause the special ed budget to swing either way it could be an individual with a new identified need or a new person coming into the town with a need that wasn't there before. Yes, or multiple people, multiple people. Yep. Right. coming into the town with a need. Yeah. And the odds are this is going to continue. I'm sure if they're going for this year, whatever age they're in, they're going to continue. Certainly, to there is potential there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's the big news. So, <laughs> so I'm going by memory, so forgive me, but was there not a, a slush fund or something like that for special needs? Or was it not like there three, is. That's the fund I was dollars that was talking about. That we so that is only for emergency purposes. So that we would need to go to the town and request permission to do that. But this is, a, is something that we know about in advance. So we need to put it into the budget. It's not. So, if, if, so as, it be yeah, as Suzanne see. was saying, if that you. was like I right now and we had no money, then we would be saying, hey, we need our trust money. Can we please spend this $50,000 because we need it today and we don't have okay. it. So but again, because I, we need it for yeah, next I'm year. I'm following you. I just yeah. want to make sure. So I have yeah. another question. If it was a month from now. And this came up, you'd have to go into that 35 to burn it and then come to the town and say, You need 50. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah. And in 40 years, they've only had to do that once. Really? Special really? meeting. Really? Wow. Okay. Well, that's a good thing. So, yes. Now, do you have other good news? 
Well, I think it was Well, she saw for this up saying how the, the school district gave so much money back to the town. So I, I see that. <laughs> well, so fair tax reduction this year. And now for next year. But I, I guess this is so unique that, I mean, oh, yeah. we spend almost a million dollars already. That's 20% of the budget on special needs. And this is, this is so unique that it's actually going to another school. It's the hardest thing for them to budget for. Yeah. It is. Without a doubt. It is. It's never a known figure. It can change on a daily basis. It can change based on the needs of current students, based on new new students coming in. You know, we have no control over that and and we are required to educate all of the students. So they're just uh, just an education for myself then. Mm -hmm. So there are like state rules that say mm -hmm. A, a child with this kind of need cannot be met within the current special education program that the district has. They need to go to a so, more sophisticated place. I don't, I don't know that there are state rules that say this need needs, you know, can't be met in this environment, but I know that there is a lot, there are a lot of um, processes in place to um, assess needs for students and 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 clearly those processes have told mm. our school other schools who knows that, that this these these needs exist but that decision is made within the district to do that or somebody's coming a parent is coming with a with the doctor's note that says this is so unique, I need to yeah, you need I to do something different happens. outside of your normal special education program. I believe that can happen either way, Judy. Do you? Yeah, I, mean, I don't mean to speak out of turn, but it is it is definitely a process that starts within our district. A a, a need is identified. Now it could it could be also I mean, it, uh, it, and it starts there and it builds out. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and the regulations come, the laws come from the federal and the state level that, that we must meet the needs mm -hmm. of, uh, of any child between the ages of 3 and 21 mm -hmm. to, to be educated. And I understand that. Did you have more points that you wanted to make? Um, no, that is the, um, <laughs> <laughs> the, the page chain. Yeah. So any update on the union contract? I don't have one. We no. We're no, we are still in negotiations. We have yes. no update. We hope to have we hope to have an update on uh, January 11th for the uh, for the budget committee public hearing. So what is the date for that to close? Right here. It is January something. Yeah. It's the last it's the last day we can do a warrant article. So it's January whatever. Okay. 19th or something. Yeah. Whatever. Please. So what happens? Can you can oh, I ask you a question? Well, yeah, I'll I'll go. Go. Uh, what happens if you don't go through negotiations by that date? What happens to the? We will be unable to put. We we will be unable to put a warrant on. Um, You'll be able. And we will we'll be unable to. It'll it'll it'll. If, if we don't have if we don't have agreement. Yeah. Uh, by the time the warrant needs to be uh, presented. Yeah. Uh, to the public, then then it simply will not be on. Then there's no increase or decrease. There's no contract. There's, there's no, no contract. contract. Then, that, then, then it's, there's no contract. Correct. There's no means of doing something after that? I really don't know. We'll have to find Is out. Is it because it's SB2? I, I really don't know. Okay. That's an excellent question. We'll have to find okay. out. So, just, just, I'm trying to, so the grand total is on page 9. Is under Prop 21 proposed. That represents a nineteen thousand dollar increase over the prior year. Is that even with this fifty thousand? Mm -hmm. Is that the way I read this? Um, that is what it looks like. Yes. So even with the fifty thousand, it's it, we have. But the reason that it's actually more significant, I guess, is because there's also a reduction in revenue. Is that correct? Yes. So it's actually there is a hit on the tax rate, mm -hmm. potential hit right. on the tax rate. That is more than what we might see here with this nineteen thousand. Is that yes? Because the revenues have been reduced. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm to get my other 
behind me here. Um, yes, so the revenues were reduced 149.7 from last year. Um, and then our uh, 52,735. Um, for adequacy payments. Is, is there any possibility that the revenue figures would change based on this new identified need? Does the state do any? I mean, there's, I, I don't know specifically to that, um, but, you know, there's always the potential that they may change. These are estimated figures, and they changed pretty dramatically last year, actually. So, um, yes? <laughs> well, I was just, I was just yeah. thinking, you know, it, it would be helpful for our public hearings, if we could have some of the, and they're all just estimates, but I, I know that when I was on the board, we had that sort of a 10-year a look at things, and we were estimating what at least the town's impact on the tax rate had been, would be, you know, was proposed to be and might be in the future, and it's just, I find that helpful to kind of see a sweep and to have it also, you know, to have some notion of, of the school and about the water district because it doesn't impact everybody's uh, taxes. So, Can you, so, so I, I guess I'm asking if the town is the town going to be continuing with that or is they keep continuing with that? Is it a trend? Are you looking for a trend line? In well, the tax for for the impact of well, the, the budget. I'm looking for. The, I, I would like to see a tax. What is the impact of all of these? Both of these budgets that we estimate on the tax rate for 2020. Additionally, at least on the, because I know this existed in the past and then not terribly distant past, it, for the town it projected outward, like given, you know, a 2% operating budget increase, given what we know this, the, the capital improvement plan is projecting for the next 10 years, what does that do, and you know, let's say a 1% increase in revenue, what does that do to our tax rate? It, for me, it was helpful. Now, I don't want to give more work to the town, so the town wasn't going to do that. You the volunteer next step. To I would volunteer to do it, yes. Seriously, I would. If the town would so enjoy that. If the town's going to be around 90 cents. So, back to the school budget. Um, yeah. Any, I mean, there, there are no other changes other than that I have, other than what we presented. I propose that we move the school budget as presented this evening with the additional special ed amount to the public hearing. I'll second. Any more discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Right. You guys have it. So water and sewer. Did, and I apologize. Um, I don't think anybody's on top of the water. I'm very um, uh, confused with his presentations mm -hmm. and with the um, what I have anyway. Uh, I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying I don't, I don't interpret it. Uh, he's changed his terminology. He's changed accounts. I thought there was going to be a, he was going to make another presentation and clarify that for us tonight. John, when are we scheduled right now to have the public hearing for the water and sewer? And they don't have the same, even though they, we've, scheduled, we've scheduled with the town, I guess I'm asking when that is, I don't know. But I believe because they're not SB2, they really don't have to be as early as the town, mm -hmm. so maybe there's time for this committee in January to early January to get back with water and sewer and find out what, just get this all straight? It looks like it's the 18th of January. We'll be hearing on town and water sewer district up So I think we can do the water and sewer even later because they're not SB2. I don't know how much later, that I don't remember, but it's probably into February. We should yes. have one more meeting. We could We could actually cover it in in the hearing, uh, you know, after the hearing or something like that. Or, yes, good idea. Uh, yeah. While we're all there. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a very good point, Sean. But it sounds like people just aren't ready to... It's been, it has been confusing. What is the uh, 
public hearing. It's January 18th. Thank you. So when is no, no, no. I mean, the uh, no, for the presentation. Sorry, I should have been more. The, the public hearing says the public hearing on town and water and sewer district operating budgets and warrant articles is January 18th at 9 a.m. Okay. at the middle at the grammar school. Okay, thank you. And when is the presentation for the town? The same day. It's all that same day. The it's all the same day. Got it. So it's got to be approved for that. Or not approved. So what I think what you said, if I heard it correctly, is when we do the public hearing on the town, we don't do the public hearing in water because we don't have one to do. But we meet with Bird after that and get it all straightened out, and then we do a public hearing another time. Is that what you were saying? Well, I, I was. No, I think he was. No, I shouldn't speak for you. Uh, no, I think he was suggested before the 18th. Yeah, well, while well, just looking at the schedule here, for instance, we have, is, is it, am I looking at the right schedule here that we're doing the school district on January 11th? Yeah. And then the next week we do the town. So maybe at the end of the school district public hearing, we could revisit the water and sewer and then put something forward for the next week to be pr presented at the public hearing with the town budget and the public on number two or that, to that. It adds a net zero to our meeting schedule, so I think that's a wonderful idea. <laughs> so, I mean, you're, you mean to include Vernon at that office, right? If you want Vernon to discuss. Well, Bob Megan is your representative. Yeah, Bob Megan is Paul. the representative, yeah. but, but uh, oh, yeah. Bob, it's up to the whoever. Yeah, I'm sorry. Someone from Hawaii, so we're just. I imagine it's going to be Vernon. Right. He's the one who's best the practice. We need this committee. My, my strong point is okay, so that, uh, Well, the good news is that Caroline is here. So could we ask Caroline to post that on January 11, after the public hearing in the school, we would have, the, and after the our deliberations on the school, that we would then have uh, a meeting on to review the, the final review of the water and sewer district. So if that's posted, and then we could add, then it doesn't change the 18th, right? Because the 18th, we would be doing both. So I think that's the only, isn't that the only? That? And then all we have to do is communicate with Bernie. Yeah, we also have to post, uh, notice the public meeting seven days ahead, and so January 3rd, which is cool for it, because we've got it on our schedule. Um, it, needs to be, it needs to be posted. Okay. I missed that meeting. Yeah. Water and sewer district, but from what I hear, a little teeny bit of a little confusion in it because it's confusing, confusing anyway. So, so I, I can call I up and send a note to Bob and Vern and ask them to present the updated current budget for the water and sewer on the 11th after the bus. Two bus to the budget committee after the after public hearing is yeah. closed. Sounds okay. So do I need a motion for that, or are you okay with that? I think we can go with that. Yes. Consensus. All right. Um, is there any other business that we need to cover? I um. Not changing. Change it. She's got a little wire. Come to our. I do. I, I I just want to put it out there. If anyone wants to talk about the. Um, proposed warrant article to send sixth graders over. I um, I have the calculations. I sent them out to everyone and um, to this committee. Mm -hmm. this. Yeah, it was. Uh, I think it was extremely, extremely expensive, right? It is. Yeah. Um, it is estimated at uh, three hundred and twenty-six thousand six hundred and fifty dollars um, additional. For, I believe it's budgeted at 27 students. Um, yeah, 27 students. Um, yeah. When we talked about it at the, um, the presentation the other night, I feel like there were some questions and there was some pushback on those numbers. So I just want to make sure that I offer explanations and answer questions to anyone who has them. Yes. I have another way. Bob had a good example. 
And yes, he it's did. a great example. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just going to do the same example, but situated in a household. Yeah. So if you have a household of five people, two parents and three children, yeah. and let's say, just to have round numbers, the cost of managing that entire household is $100,000. Mm -hmm. Then you have the oldest of your children go up and join the service. Mm -hmm. He's no longer there. You're not going to save 20% of that $100,000 because one person is gone. Yeah. And I think that was the disconnect. about it. Right? <laughs> but I think that was the disconnect. It, it, it was like... Yeah. Car insurance goes down, a lot of good things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but probably not 20%. Yeah. So I think that Superintendent Godomsky did reduce the RGS budget based on the fact that... Mm -hmm. But it wasn't the full amount because, it, uh, because of all of these other considerations. And I think that was a hard thing. It's not apples to apples. Right. For sure. So um, that was my example based on yeah. just a similar one to Bob's. The one question I had, uh, six, seven, and eight grade all go to the same school, correct? The middle school? The South Berwick and Elliott students okay, do. Okay, and Robins so they all go to a school at the seven. same time? So what happens is I'm there are... I'm confused on the transportation. Yeah, sure. So South Berwick and Elliott have two elementary schools. K through three, right? So South Berwick has a kindergarten through third grade. Elliot has a kindergarten through third grade. In fourth grade, they go to the Great Work School. They go to that school. All, all the students go to Great Work School for fourth and fifth grade. Then all those students transfer to the middle school for sixth through eighth. Right. Our students join them in seventh grade. Is that cool? Yeah, currently. Currently. If our sixth graders go, mm -hmm. They would be starting the Marshwood Middle School right. at the same time as the South Berwick and Elliott students transfer from the Great Work School to the Middle School in sixth grade. Yeah. So one of the concerns I thought some parents had was that they're going to be coming into the school and not have the social connections. But those social connections already were made at the Great Work School. Mm -hmm. And that's the school by Berwick Academy? Yes. On that road. Yep. Okay. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So, so those students have all been together. Yes. Stuff, but yep. already not to say that's worked. not unfounded in yes. any way, for yes. sure. But yes, those students have already all been together for two years prior to sixth yeah. grade. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those 27 children pick up the need for an extra bus? They do. Um, and that I. That seems very expensive. I asked. You send them all on Uber. <laughs> so let me explain to you our current bus situation, right? We work very hard to reduce the cost of the buses, and currently for our 7th and seventh through 12th graders, what happens is we have three buses that travel around on their routes, pick up Rollinsford students, and bring them to the Legion. Then the kids reorganize themselves onto two buses, and one bus goes to the high school and one bus goes to the middle school. That third bus then goes and starts a Rollinsford grade school loop to pick up those students shortly after. I don't think you need to go right there. Um, so what that would mean now is, and, and, and so I asked two questions. One, are we sure that um, we need the second bus? And, and we've gotten a confirmation on the quote of $71,000. And my other question was, theoretically, we have three buses, right, traveling those routes. Does that $71,000 number actually take into consideration that we, we have three buses for part of that time? And it does. Um, so basically, um, the $71,000 for an extra bus is solid. Um, each bus can hold about 77 students. I can tell you anecdotally that my son was first on and first off. Um, the middle school start and high school starts at 7.20 in the morning. He was picked up at 6.05 in the morning to get to school on time. So were we to not add another bus, because theoretically, and I don't know that that would be true, that we could fit all the students on two buses, I wouldn't want to know what time in the morning our children would be picked up from Well, school. I'm driving now, so <laughs> <laughs> that extra half hour of sleep. So, yeah, yeah, right? I get it. Yeah, so that's the thing. Um, so that's, it's, 
the, the bus number, um, I pushed quite a bit, and, and it's real. There's no getting around it. So. So. So the only other question that I had, and it's not related to this, but uh, 50K for the study for the air system. Uh, it was for heating, ventilation. heating and ventilation. Mm -hmm. case seemed, just seemed like a lot to me yeah. off the top of my head. Like is that already too. etched in stone? I mean, you already have the study done, or is that proposed budget for us? It's proposed budget for a study. I believe our facilities um, manager is the one who went out and, and kind of sussed out what that might cost the school. So it that's could be less. a best yes. estimate. Okay. It could be less. Could be Hopefully, more. it is less. Hopefully not. We're not in New Jersey. <laughs> 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 any, any more, uh, any, any He'll get you back. Right. Your business. Your business. If, I might, <laughs> if I, I would like to make a comment, to, to, uh, if it's all right, um, and thank Please. you, Jonathan. Um, um, so, so the, the, the proposal that we're thinking of, the warrant article we're thinking of. And the board has not fully decided yet if we're going to do it on sending sixth grade. Because if we put it on this year in order to inform the town of how much this will cost, the school board has already decided that it will not, it, while, while even though we are putting the warrant on, we will not recommend it. Because we do not believe we need to spend that money this year, certainly this next year. And, and we would like to save the town that money. And that's a recurring number. Every once year. it starts, it does not stop. Correct. It will always be in the budget once it starts. Any other new business? Yeah, well, not new. We're just going back to the 50000 I'm assuming if you're spending $50,000 for a study, the implementation of that is multiples of 50000 right? Yeah. So, I mean, there's there's a big number coming mm -hmm. down yes. over the years for that mm -hmm. school. Which is why we're building up our capital reserve fund. Um, <laughs> in anticipation of a few things like that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have my binder with me. So was that study part of the operating budget, or is that going to be a separate foreign article? No, nope, that's part of the operating budget. Thank you. Yeah. One of the nine goals. Mm -hmm. It's only 7.30. <laughs> 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 but there have been other committees I'm happy where, that you know, here. we'd still be talking about... Had Warren Sewer been here, we would have been here. So, yeah, we'd still be here. That's true. Uh, so, any other business? Motion? Just just a thank you to the to our governing entities who were represented here tonight, the school board and the select board for the work that they did. It's a lot of work, and especially with SB2 in the town, you know, we're still trying to, you know, we're still trying to get on the wagon. Yes, they are. And so, I... Thank you. This is and, and I appreciate some of the decisions that you were able to make to get sound in the So we have a motion to adjourn. Charlie's got a motion. Second. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.